Good afternoon. This is Backman's Collectors Club 32817 Kilo. It's one of 504 produced. And this is number treble four. It is a class 47, the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme in EWS livery. This particular locomotive entered service on the 5th of March 1965 as D1 treble six and to cut a long story short ownership was transferred from RES to EWS in 2002 it was repainted in EWS colours and named Duke of Edinburgh Award it was withdrawn from service in 2005 and was cut up at Kingsbury in early 2006 I got this locomotive from TMC, TMC as of the 12th of February 2022 for an incredible price, you've got one left. People are selling these for £70 more on other websites. It's absolutely fantastic. Unlike the latest Class 47s, it has a driver. It has cab lights in analogue. Loads of appendages and it has name plates as well. And it really is very, very well pleased with it. I hope you enjoy seeing this locomotive run and thank you very much for watching. And being a diesel, it's easy to show it moving in both directions. Okay, we're going to demonstrate now the insole frog points test. Going through a Y point, slide down a bit, a Y point, a Y point. And you can see it's easy. We're running it so slow the lights aren't even coming on. But you can see the crawl speed. Remember it's analog, slight right down, don't worry about the lights. And you can see it really is really, really good. Obviously if we digitalised it then the lights at slow speed would be on all the time with analogue you need to move a little bit faster. If you move off a little bit faster you can see the red lights lighting up. Thank you. Okay here is the radius 2 curve points tests computer program piece of track they're all in sort of frog points all pico points it's coming through onto a radius 2 set track point it's then coming through onto a radius 2 curve point and we're going as slow as we possibly can radius 2 curve point it's going across now and it stopped not because of anything to do with the points obviously it gets tighter and as we go slower and slower it needs more power to push it through so we're just trying to do this as slow as we possibly can but the loco has no problem where you've got a radius 2 and you're going really really slow you need more power to force the wheels round but if you pull it out at just a normal pace now just a little bit faster just to show people that it's not stopping on the track and you can see here it's absolutely fantastic runs really really nicely and does not have any problems with radius 2 a peach of a locomotive Thank you.
and as I say the good thing about a diesel is you can run it backwards and forwards and it, it really is a cookie And obviously you can see the driver as it goes backwards. And in my view, this just looks superb pulling these wagons. And here comes the train up the top bend. Now we didn't weather this because we've seen so many EWS freight locomotives looking clean and pulling freight that I'm not totally sure that weathering a locomotive is totally accurate all the time. And here's a nice panorama for you. The full treble 78, Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. I think it's called Duke of Edinburgh's award, but what a locomotive. Okay, this time you're gonna see it go through the uh, points crossover it has got the fans in it by the way they just don't turn but it's one of those gimmicks that Batman has seen fit to add that you're never going to see I would prefer a driver personally but hey ho who am I One of my favourite views. And here we are going through the crossover. You can see all these lovely and here we are going through the engine fiddle yard.
I do like these background shots. The locomotive is DCC ready, comes with cab lights, warning lights, rear lights, everything you need. And it's a limited edition. Okay, to finish off, we're going to run this round our uh, engine yard loop, or fiddle yard loop as we sometimes call it. And you're going to see the loco coming into play now. And I'm really pleased with it. It's the only 47 I've got in EWS livery. Details superb. And we're going to put it on, on our worst inner loop. Should be fine. And here you can see it's a radius 2 onto a radius 2, worst part of my track. Some locos won't do it, but this shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive as much as we have. And as I said, I bought it from TMC as of the 12th of Feb 2022. And they've got one left at a very, very reasonable price. And there are people selling them for £70 more. How they manage that, I do not know. But it is superb. We'll put it round our uh, normal inner track. The uh, ballast hoppers are EWS, they're Hornby products. We put the ballast in ourselves. And again, thank you very much for watching. And we hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive run. Thank you.